I hesitate to make a video like this, but I want to just give everybody a heads up and alert to um, some things that could be going on in isolated areas. If you're under an area that has received little to no rain in June um, prior to July, um, there are cases here where we're finding corn has made misses in isolated spots, not widespread. But it is something if you are driving by a field and it looks good, one needs to still go into the inside and see what things look like. Um, real quick here, just an exa some example plants here of a field here that has both a little bit. Um, we're seeing, you know, a lack of pollination here or quite a few misses um, on this ear right here. This is due to possibly, this could have been extreme stress. Um, this case right here is on a clay bank, and so it was probably pretty tight soil. It probably rolled up pretty tightly when it was hot and dry. We had that heat there a uh, week or so ago, probably a little over about 10 days to two weeks ago. And it was like really dry, missed some of the rains. And this particular spot in the field dries out really fast. Probably was unable to push its silks at that time. And then it got a rain. Some of it has pollinated recently. And some was way earlier. But we're still looking at an ear that's, you know, largely missed. Um, I just, here's one that's completely missed. You can tell always if you shake your silks. And you can see where it falls off and where it hangs on is where you know... Um, Wherever it hangs on has not been pollinated. If we look up at the tassel, you see that the tassel has been fully extended and you see the anthers are gone. It has fully dropped all its pollen that it ever will. So this is the ear that will, um, if you see those yellowing kernels, that is all that's gonna be there this fall. Um, they'll fill out, they'll probably get, if we get good rains, they'll fill out really, really big. It'll be gigantic kernels, um, but that's, that's the extent of what we're going to get. Um, some telltale signs, if I can see an example here, would be um, silks like this. They're staying green. They're not like this, where you see it turning really dark brown. Here you see a few silks coming out the top. This is probably just the tip of the ear. If we were to pull it back, I can't do that. Hang on to this camera here, but you would probably see it's just the tip. What you're wanting to see is brown silks. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean just because they're green that it didn't pollinate at all. I've pulled ones like this, similar to this, and they did it late. They caught a last minute rain and they barely pollinated. And so if you look at a, if you look at a, an ear that has done it, let's see if I can actually, if you bear with me a little bit while I try to handle this, uh, Try to handle this uh, ear. There we go. I dropped the phone on the ground, but here in just a second, I'm gonna um, show you. If you haven't seen this before, sorry, I should have had this probably ready, but I wanted to. Show you this real quick since we're talking about you know something that's been freshly pollinated this one hasn't been necessarily but it's still going to show you the same visual um you can see here if this hat if this was a freshly pollinated sometimes oops okay I'm trying to give you a visual here i had my phone the wrong way but anyway i'm pointing here at the ear and if you shake it and the silks fall off that's pollinated. Wherever you see a silk attached yet, it's not. Um, you can even get, if we get down here to the end here, we might even find, let's see if I can do this. You can see areas where it just freshly pollinated there at the end and they have a little blister to them and the silk has disconnected when I shook it. And so that's pollinated even if you're, so if you're wanting to know that ha has it or not, um, you can check that by the silks. Now, I was seeing the other day, and I don't think in this field I have an example, but
but this is a possibility. If you look there where you see some of those kernels or ovules that look like they are deflating, they might have pollinated, but with the dry weather and the heat, they've aborted. It looks like they started and then they didn't have enough to keep them alive. And so they were in effect canceled. So there's a possibility that that's what took place there. So uh, pay attention as we go through this weather. Hopefully we get some rain like they're forecasting and things can start to take off um, and whatever. But it is, yeah, very heartbreaking to walk into a field and see um, and see that it's missed. Um, I just want you guys to know about it. It's not something I like to talk about much. But I want you to know about your situations and be walking and scouting your fields to make sure that you know what to expect come harvest. So if you have any questions about this or need me to walk a field for you, um, feel free to reach out to me. We'll be glad to come and do this. Um, anyway, that's it for now. See you. Bye.